All right, today we might have a treat for me because we're fishing a small little local lake that's even smaller than the normal small little local lakes I fish and it's been closed for like six or eight months. Nobody's fished over there. Five or six years ago, maybe, maybe longer, maybe seven or eight years ago, they drained the lake, dug it out, added brush piles, added structure, added all kinds of stuff, stocked F1 bass in there, and then two years ago, they were catching 10 pounders, and then now nobody's fished it in six or eight months. So, hopefully, we about to bust them. You know, I lost one of the biggest fish I ever hooked whenever I was young over there. I've hooked bigger fish now that, I, that I've lost, but I can remember vividly in my brain this one fish that I had hooked on a borrowed rod that was like a push button spin cast with like old line and this sucker was coming up and jumping. It was probably, looking back now, it's probably a seven pounder, but it just kept coming up and jumping and coming up and jumping and I was 12 years old and I had just nothing I could do with him with that rod and he got me wrapped up around a tree and it ended up breaking me off. So I remember that. And you know, that was kind of heartbreaking at the time. But hopefully today, we're a, uh, you know, 15 years later, and we'll get redemption on that bass right there. So go over and catch us one bigger than seven, hopefully. Th this really could be a phenomenal day. We'll go find out. What about that for a first couple minutes? Hunter, do you see that? He was a little confused. You don't want to back it in? Huh? You don't want to back it up? Yeah, you're right. yeah, you see I caught one? Yeah. I'm ready. Yeah. All right. throwing that before I put the boat in beside it. Better get to the bank, huh? And nine on that frog. <laughs> what? Got me one. I hadn't freaking got it, but I can't hold on to him. Should we keep our best five? Is he gonna be in it? Nah? Two and a half pounder? Just throwing a frog out here in a brush pile, you know? Standard textbook 101. Gosh! 
Oh. Dude, I thought that was a freaking big one. It is a pretty big one. Mm-hmm. What about that one for a dang little six-pounder? <laughs> we'll put him in our best five. Dude, that sucker went ballistic. Mm-hmm. Everybody loves the frog bite. Everybody loves the frog bite. I was about to get the old raffle skill out. We're gonna keep our best five. That one probably qualify. If we we got like this, we might be. He gotta be over five. What, what's your guess, Hunter? 5'11", that's what I was going to guess. 5'67". Oh, we big out them bad. What? 487. That's what I think. 487? That one that dude had up there that they weighed was way smaller. That thing's long as crap. 502. I mean, that's probably about right, I guess. I don't know. I'm not keeping them. I don't guess so. Look at that sucker. Dude, he looks bigger than that. Dude, that one, that dude's weight up there was smaller. Is that the glass? Yeah. I mean, goosh. That was the daggum explosion there. Oh, my word. It's nice when you go to the stuff that you say, hey, this is the absolute best stuff on the lake as far as fishing shallow. And then catch a dang big one. Gosh, dude, I got a giant. I mean, a giant. No. Gosh. Dude, look at that thing. <laughs> dude, okay, get it. <laughs> He'll be all right. Get it, get it, get it. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God. How big is that thing? What the heck? Like how big? It's not that big. Like eight? Oh, I just went against everything in my whole life. What do you mean it ain't that big? I just went against my whole family here. <laughs> oh crap, dude. I mean a giant one. No, I'm gonna be cursed on my ancestors. Because you got a net? Yes. Hunter's against the net, y'all. Folks at people at home. Hunter's against the net. Mm. Should we go over and get it weighed on their scale? Ugh. Like, how big you think? <laughs> what do you mean it ain't that big? Look at that big sucker. How, how big? What, what's your guess? I don't know, like eight. eight it, yeah, like eight. eight. Just, just like a you know, a little eight pounder. We've been in Florida, Kyle. I ain't even impressed by that. I'm just kidding. This is a Bama eight. A Bama eight is a big one. Seven and a half. Hey, we big eye and he's jokers. Your little thing's crunched up. The ring is crunched up. Man. Seven and a half. This thing will weigh a lot more on their scale, I believe. We are big on them. Oh, biggins. That's an Alabama giant right there. Oh, top water fish. Oh man.
That's a deceptively heavy one there. I don't think so. I don't know. I've been big on him all day. I think he's like a 360. Mm, mm. 388. We got three for 1640. <laughs> Not too bad. Dang. Good four or five pounder. Boy, I got him good. Three pounder. Because it's 2160. Fish baby, glad you ain't fished today. You'd be the card. Hang on, I'm pounder with Yes, yeah, it's a big one. You want me to get it? I'm going to try to, dude. He's just acting funny. You want me to get it? I mean, a big one. <laughs> Alright, we got 25 pounds now. <laughs> yeah, we show shoot it. Oh my gosh. I threw it there and it was like. I knew I didn't have them hooked that good because I felt like I didn't. Can we get another picture? Yeah. Glad I came all the way back up in here. Big old jaw you want to do. You about to jump. We want to talk about one coming up and getting it. I didn't come in here earlier because I was like one of them giant ones ain't gonna be back in here. Now I made a pretty cast too. Ooh. Tell you what, this place looks exactly like I remember it looking back in the day. Seems like it's a lot better fishing now though. Seems like I could have just landed on some good ones, but I haven't caught that 10 I came out here looking for. Wanted me a 10. Gotta settle for two sevens. 